Now we go to our twin counter shaft transmission, which is right in front of our picture that we just saw. Again, remember that these are constant mesh transmission, so the gears are actually engaged. All the that we are actually going to um, engage is this. This is going to engage that gear to the main shaft, putting it in gear. Okay, it's going to have a sliding fork that's controlled by that shifter. Okay, so they and there's um, pr probably on a six uh, position shifter, you're going to have three of these because it'll lock this way one way and this way the other way to two different gears. Okay, you never want to mesh more than one clutch because that locks it to the main shaft. If you lock two to the main shaft, you're going to have two ratios at once and it's going to start blowing gears off of there. Okay, so, so this is our cutaway and uh, you can see that we're looking right now at a counter shaft, okay? I can turn the uh, transmission over and you'll see that it's, it is meshed. You'll see that on the left hand side, it's actually meshed with an, uh, an, an idler that gives it reverse out the back. This is the front of the transmission with our input shaft and we've, we've fastened a, a crank to it, but that is the input shaft that, that goes, the clutch mounts on, and it goes directly into the knob on the end of it goes directly into the the flywheel um, pilot bearing okay so then we're going to drive it like i'm going to here right and that's going to turn the rest of the transmission okay so if you can see over top here I am turning the counter shaft that's closest to the bottom of that picture and it is constantly meshed with all of those gears. You can see the one on the left or the one at the rear is the reverse gear and it's got the idler over here that gives it reverse, changes the direction of it. Okay, so these are turning like that. You can see that the, uh, the fork itself will shift that and lock one of these gears to the main shaft, okay? So this is our shifter. It has a one finger that fits into all of those eyes, okay? So when you slide a shifter from side to side, it goes between all three of those, okay? So if you look at the closest to us right in here, there's a detent that actually makes it um, harder to go into that side. That would be first or reverse, so you don't accidentally hit reverse while you're going down the road. Okay, so this one would be, um, this is a five-speed main box and the center one would be uh, second and third and the last one over there would be fourth and fifth, okay? So we can shift through that. Um, you'll see airlines going up to the shifter knob. Those airlines will actually allow you to make some shifts um, in the rear section. So I said this was a five-gear main case but it's also a four gear um, auxiliary section, which is run the exact same way. You see the counter shaft on the, on the side there on the left and the uh, bull gear, the main big bull gear is right here, okay? And we've got another shifter here that comes out and is air shifted by this cylinder here, okay? That's the range. So we're gonna engage that great big gear by the range selector and that's going to move through a piston down in here the uh, sliding clutch into um, higher low range. If you look down in here that's our synchro that's the only synchro in this engine. We have a clutch brake that mounts on the front that allows us to get into first or reverse to slow down the input shaft when we disengage the clutch. Okay, this is a synchro to protect us because the range is like 30 to 40% of a range change when you actually shift this, okay? Um, and, and you notice you have a counter shaft here and you have another counter shaft down at the bottom, down in here, okay? And then down over on the other side of this is, is the splitter. The splitter is also an air shift, which gives us, um, it allows us to split every gear coming out of the main case and going to the back of the transmission. I said the main shaft is the output shaft on the main 
box of the transmission, which is uh, like a five-speed box with reverse. And that main uh, shaft is where all those gears right there are turning, okay? So that's gonna go through and then its output is going to be to the rear section, which is like having two transmissions in one, but the back is air shifted. Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you the shifting in the main case or in the in the rear case in the auxiliary section or auxiliary transmission. I said it had four positions. Well, the, at the front, right down in here, is the sliding clutch for the splitter. The splitter on the stick is on the side, right here, okay? So that is the splitter up here. This is the range here, okay? The range is gonna go through the synchro and engage the back bull gear. It's gonna make the big range change. This is gonna be the splitter, okay? So now I'm gonna show you that splitting in the box. Uh, okay, so if I were to split it, it would split like that, okay? So it's shifting between those two gears, the main shaft coming in right there, and that one going through, coming out here, through the counter shaft and back in. So it's a much smaller version of the front case of this auxiliary. Or of this auxiliary. Um, and, uh, and so the five speed has a much longer counter shaft. You can see this counter shaft comes, comes up and then goes right to this bull gear. So now let's shift the range, which has got that big pin type synchronizer on it. Okay, and that's gonna lock that in and out between, uh, that's high range, that's low range. Okay, low range is the high torque, so that's engaging with that big gear at the back. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try shifting uh, manually uh, when you'd, you'd be driving down the road uh, you would double clutch in a lot of these and it will shift that finger. So what I'm going to shift is from first to reverse, not while you're going down the highway, obviously. But if you can see that uh, uh, sliding clutch down there. You're engaging the, the main shaft gear with the... Uh, with the uh, gear, uh, main shaft gear with the main shaft itself. Okay. So that's how a shift is made on the main shaft of the main case. Um, okay. So we can shift uh, that one. There's another one up here that can shift the gears. You shift only one at a time. So that's why that finger in there can only be in one of those rails or on one of those rails at the same time. So that's what allows us to shift the main case and then we can uh, actually get it into one of the gears and then come up and split that gear with the side splitter over here, okay? Which will split that gear and make it a half a gear, which is a half a ratio change and, uh, and that will allow it to uh, make a shift going down the road. Okay, so if I go over here, this unit happens to have a PTO on it. So the PTO is right there. The PTO gear is right here, okay, and runs the PTO through down here. If any of you have ever put a PTO on before, you have to set the backlash on a PTO. And that's what it looks like inside the transmission. That is an, a counter shaft um, PTO gear, and that's all its job is to run that PTO. It doesn't engage with any of the other gears up top, um, but it, it is, uh, I said it was a, a counter shaft gear, so it turns whenever the counter shaft is turning, so whenever the clutch is, is engaged, is out, okay? Another thing that happens is, when we are range selecting, we need to make sure that we're in the proper gear and it's done timed perfectly. So we can't trust our driver to do that. We need a side valve. So when we go uh, make a shift like the, with the splitter, sorry, with the range, which is this button here, okay? In, in order for that to happen, we have to be in neutral, okay? And so there's a, there's a, a uh, 
a pin that comes across in here and it'll only allow it to shift this and you'll, you can follow the lines down and they go right along there and feed the range piston over here, okay? So that's how we're gonna shift our range with our range button, okay? Only in neutral. Right now we're in neutral, so it'll allow it to shift. If we were in gear, we could make that shift and it wouldn't shift until the pin over by this side valve uh, allows it to shift inside the this side valve, okay? Um, and, and they call this a control valve as well, but anyhow, I call it a side valve. So, um, and there is our breather for it. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, and it's, uh, it's been fun to make anyhow, but that is uh, a twin countershaft Road Ranger transmission. And uh, it's got two counter shafts that support the main shaft gears because they don't actually ride on the main shaft or output shaft. And it's got an auxiliary transmission on the back. And uh, it also has a PTO control here, but anyhow. Uh, so um, we're gonna delve in deeper in our classroom time. But anyhow, this is, uh, this is the layout of it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed yourselves and, and we'll talk to you soon, bye.